Okay, good morning everyone. Um, very much still food sustainability, but I'm going to come at this from a, a, a very different angle. Uh, I work in the Love Food Hate Waste team at RAP, which is the Waste and Resources Action Programme. Um, quick poll, who has actually heard of Love Food Hate Waste? Oh yes, excellent. Um, as you probably know then, um, it's not new. Um, it's been around since 2007. Uh, to help UK households um, recognise, which is the first step, and then tackle the issue of food waste. Uh, as many of you will probably know, <coughs> uh, just last beginning of last month, we had our new figures uh, released. So the figures in here are hot off the press. Um, which do you think? Anyone? D. OK. Um, big issue. Uh, seven million tonnes would fill Wembley nine times over. Okay, if that helps that put that into context for you. So um, it's not something um, that we can look over. Where we need to actually do something about this. Um, again, to put it into context, uh, total UK food and drink uh, waste is around 15 million tonnes. Uh, and despite um, opinion uh, to the contrary, um, it's not necessarily the supermarkets that are um, putting most of that waste out of there. It's actually us as consumers. Um, nearly half of that 15 million tonnes um, is created uh, by us. That's 7 million. So of our 7 million tonnes, that's the total food and drink waste, um, <coughs> we break that down uh, a little bit. Um, 1.6 is unavoidable. So we're never going to eat our fish bones or our chicken carcasses. Um, our pineapple skins, our eggshells, although hopefully those last two we might hopefully put in a compost bin. Possibly avoidable um, is a category which depends on whether you would eat the skin of your apple or the outside crusts of your, your bread loaf. But the biggest chunk of that, that 4.2 million tonnes, is good food. Good food that if we'd managed it differently, um, we could have actually eaten. And again, that's, this is the bit that we're interested in. Dealing with our 4.2 million tonnes, the, main, the two main reasons why we waste it is either we've prepared, served or cooked too much, either for ourselves or for other people, we've put too much on someone else's plate, um, or we've not used it in time, uh, so we've not paid attention to the date on something, something else has cropped up, we've not thought to put it in the freezer, um, lots of different options there. So every day, this is each day in the UK, we throw away these amounts of good food, okay, which is not really sustainable, is it? Um, so in terms of the average home, uh, that is 260 kilograms per year, five kilograms per week, so that's the weight of five bags of sugar, uh, 110 kilograms per person, and we all do it. The number of times um, I could have given up work if I'd had a small amount of money for every time somebody said, oh, I don't waste anything. Uh, or I was brought up during the period that. As you can see from that, we all waste it. Um, the, the actual, um, on the side there, on the, uh, on the axis, the, uh, there's not a, if you look at the figures, there's not a total, uh, a huge amount of difference in the total figures in those age groups. And what most people find quite um, amazing is that 55 to 64 um, group. Obviously this has an environmental impact. If we send food along with any other organic waste to landfill, we're generating methane. One of the most harmful greenhouse, greenhouse gases, uh, 20 times plus more harmful than CO2. So obviously something that we need to be avoiding. And not just the actual food itself, but getting that food into our homes only to be thrown away has taken a lot. Um, it's been potentially grown in a field, say if we're making a loaf of bread, um, it's been turned into flour, it's been turned into a loaf, it's been packaged, it's been transported, it's been stored, we've potentially gone to the supermarket to pick it up and take it home and then what do we do? We throw it away. Such a waste. Um, equivalent to 17 million tonnes of CO2 per year, which again, to make that slightly more tangible, equivalent, um, if we save that, it would be the equivalent to taking one in four cars um, off UK roads. Um, that is a, a big amount. And of course we've paid for this food. 
um, we're throwing away the equivalent of 12.5 billion, which to um, yeah, average household is about 470 pounds per year, seven, uh, rising to 700 for a household with children. So on average, we're talking of savings up to 60 pounds uh, a month for a household. Most households can find a better use of 60 pounds than literally throwing it in the bin. Um, just briefly, what are others doing to help? Well, <coughs> supermarkets, grocery retail sector are signed, uh, is a voluntary agreement. Uh, all the majors are signed up to something called a Courtauld Commitment, which not only looks at helping them reduce their waste, but looking at ways in which we can reduce our, our waste in the household um, as well. About uh, 49 retailers and brands are signed up to that at the moment. Courtauld is actually in phase three. Uh, it's been going for quite a while. We now have something called the um, Hospitality and Food Service Agreement as well. Again, a voluntary agreement. Um, that's to try and um, get restaurants, pubs, um, staff canteens, quick service restaurants, etc., etc., um, to look at how um, they can reduce their waste and help us reduce our waste um, too. For example, not many people will go to a restaurant and say that they didn't want peas with the meal because they don't like peas. Um, well, how can I have beans or carrots instead? So what happens? Those peas get wasted. It's about just changing the way people think um, about their food. The backbone, if you like, of Love Food, Hate Waste is um, the practical tips and advice that we can offer. Um, what I've just said is, if you like, the bad news. Um, the good news is, is that we can do things um, to change this. We have five key behaviours uh, on which we base uh, the Love Food Hate Waste campaign. Planning, being aware um, of dates and what they mean, um, correct storage to get the best out of uh, your food, looking at portion sizes, so not overloading plates, and if all else fails, if you like, um, being a little bit creative and a little bit more confident about how we can um, use our leftovers. We have, um, although it might say it myself, a fantastic website, uh, lots of content on there, uh, lots of background to Love Food Hate Waste, uh, lots of uh, tips and advice, lots of recipes uh, to help use up ingredients that you might otherwise waste. Um, we also have an app um, which was launched uh, earlier this year for both uh, iPhone and Android. So um, if you own a smartphone uh, and you're into that kind of thing, then um, have a look at that. What I'm saying to you now in hopefully 10 minutes um, is a very short, quick uh, snapshot, if you like, of something that we call our Cascade Training. This is fully funded training um, that we offer to businesses, academic institutions, community groups, basically any groups that are able um, to use and go and hopefully go on and pass our messages on. Uh, it covers the background to and the issues around food waste. It covers those behaviours in much more detail uh, and supporting actually going on and, and talking to others, not necessarily in a formal way, um, but just as a, a in, in the work that you already do um, with your family and your friends and community groups that you're part of. Uh, there's a full support pack available and access to a lot of resources. And on top of that, it's actually quite fun. Um, as well. Um, there are lots of activities in there. Uh, it's not just listening to one of us talk for what is actually about two and a half hours. Um, we have a what we call a partner resource site uh, which you can sign up to quite simply with a, just an email address and details of who you are. Uh, so there's lots of recipes on, there's lots of images, um, there's um, editorial logos etc etc and we have a sort of a, a monthly seasonal theme obviously now we're doing Christmas but we did uh, the first stir fry which we did when uh, freshers started back to help new students get used to cooking for themselves and not wasting food um, that's about it <laughs> but what I would like to say is if, if anybody is interested uh, in having a discussion or taking up that, that training, that would be brilliant. Um, I have with me uh, a, quite a large supply of our training brief, which gives you some more details about that. So if anybody is interested in that, um, please grab me at some point. Um, I'd be uh, very happy to talk to you about that. Thank you.